Hello my friends, our topic for today is controlling mental confusions. My friends, is there any time you were overthinking about something and lost your sleep and tranquility? Or is there any time you were unable to focus or contemplate on just one thing rather depressed just because you were thinking too many things at the same time? Or are you struggling due to your mental confusions? My friends, controlling your mental confusion or mixed feelings are very important for your joy and peace. You cannot resolve any of your issues until you learn to stop being confused with too many things at the same time. Confusion is a symptom that makes you feel as if you can't think clearly. You might feel disoriented and have a hard time focusing or making decisions. If you are confused for a long period of time, dementia might be the reason. Our scripture for today comes to us from James chapter 1 verse 6. But let him ask in faith, with no doubting, for he who doubts is like a wave of the sea, driven and tossed by the wind. The question for today is how to control mental confusion. Bible strengthens you through three passages. Number one, James 4, 14. Learn to think present. My friends, always remember your family challenges, your personal sickness and pain may cause you depression and mental confusions. Hold down, relax, start to focus one thing at a time. Turn your focus to the present. Do not contemplate the past humiliations or the future fear. You cannot change the past or predict the future. Do not be very scared about your life. Perhaps deal self-doubt and self-esteem first. Until you feel you are strong, you will not come out of the mental confusion. Number two, Ecclesiastes chapter three, verse four. Learn to set time span. My friends, whenever you pass through your problems or stress, just set your time span to deal. Don't live among problems. Just say to yourself, I'm not going to think about this problem after 48 hours. Once you set time span, deal with it, resolve it, and move forward within the time frame. Never accumulate your difficulties, which will cause mental pressure and mental pain. Learn to write down your problems and the time frame. Your birth had time frame. Your lifespan has time frame. So, also, fix a time frame for your challenges. Number three, Galatians chapter three, verse one. Learn to deal with people, not with problems. My friends, there is no problem if there is no toxic people. Your problem today is perhaps because of your family members. Your heartache is because of your workplace. Your disappointments because of your trusted people. Resolve their intention and your problems will be resolved. Minimize your expectation and maximize your willpower. Here is the hope for you from Psalms 1 verse 3. They are like trees planted along the river bank, bearing fruit each season. Their leaves never be there and they prosper in all they do. Let us pray. Heavenly God, there is somebody here confused with so many things. There is somebody here unable to control their mental confusions. Please, dear Lord, encourage them, motivate them to think one thing at a time so that they can focus one thing at a time. Thank you so much, dear Lord, for making it happen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
God bless you.